People in Monroe County affected by the recent tornadoes are waiting to see if they're going to get some help from the state and federal government. WTA's Amanda Haley shows us how one group is starting the process to speed up financial assistance if it's approved. I'm here standing next to a pile of debris from the storms that happened in Monroe County. You can see here there's a ceiling fan, a couch, and a lot of other valuables are somewhere mixed in this pile right here. People were left with really almost nothing, but now those people have the chance to get a little bit of help recovering from the storm. There's some people who don't have nothing. I'm talking about absolutely nothing. Patrick Rooks is one of the residents in Monroe County still trying to clean up the mess that the tornado left behind. Many of the storm victims are struggling to get their lives back to normal on their own. Now they can get some help. Monroe Strong is a nonprofit whose goal is to provide supplies and assistance to as many of the Monroe County tornado victims as they can. Whether it's a stump removal or your house was completely totaled or we had a significant amount of flooding in the northern part of our county, any resident affected by any means at all can fill out an application and we'll try to get the right people there. Jessica Gray is a volunteer for Monroe Strong and she says the application process is very easy and that no assistance request is too little or too large. Jessica showed me the application for recovery assistance. It asks questions about the details of the home, such as location and type. It also asks about the people living in the home and their general needs. According to Gray, once the application process is approved, the Monroe Strong Committee will review what is needed for each individual household and immediately start dispersing assistance. It's been pretty bad. Uh, people don't, they're, they're not, they're away from their homes. They don't have much. They don't have anything. These people have lost everything they have. We were fortunate enough to keep some stuff. But as you can tell, it's bad here. Mm -hmm. I'm here standing in Patrick's yard. He lives right there in that house behind me with his family. And him and his family have been in and out of the house all day today, trying to gather their belongings and fix up parts of the house that they can fix up. He says he knows that he was fortunate to not lose too much during the storms, but he also knows people that lost it all. And he knows that help would not go unappreciated. I'm Amanda Haley reporting in Hamilton, WTVA 9 News. And those looking 